And in Lockport this year, that holiday cheer is really changing one little boy's life. Here's 7 Eyewitness News reporter Jason Grenauer. This was just half that came on Saturday. I mean, it's just like a lot of them here. This is probably the average nine-year-old's yearly amount of mail, but not for Drew Bider. This is half of one day, his name on every one of these envelopes. On October 2nd, we learned that he was diagnosed with uh, leukemia. It's uh, cancer, A-L-L. And um, it's hard. So as he was going through his third round of chemotherapy at Roswell Park, Drew's great aunt and a group of retired teachers decided to send him 15 Christmas cards. In no time, word spread and 15 turned into many more. And then it went from my class to, a, to the whole school. And then everybody must have started hearing about it. And then came to 152 cards. Some are come up as far as Elma, you know, and, Orchard, and Park. Orchard Park, Cheek to Wagga. Uh, we thought it was just gonna be local, but it's very, it's very widespread. Today, Drew and his loyal assistant, his three-year-old sister, Emily, opened up a few cards left over from Saturday's mail. I'm thinking of you. I want you to know I'll pray for you every day. The fact that they're willing to take time out of their day to help put a smile on his face is just, it makes me speechless. I, I just really don't know. And I, I, thanks, it just doesn't seem like enough. It helps a lot, you know, just reading everything and what they have to say. Making Drew's fight a little easier, one card at a time. My Merry Christmas from Sam. Now, I just spoke to Drew's dad, who tells me 42 more Christmas cards came in the mail today, bringing the grand total to 194. If you would like to send Drew a card, we have placed all the information on our website, WKBW.com. Reporting live, Jason Grenauer, 7 Eyewitness News. And I think a lot more will be coming. All right, thanks, Jason.